Hello from Universal Orlando Resort. We are here tonight because it's all about the rides and we want to see how many things we can do before the parks close with our Express Pass. We are premier annual pass holders and one of the perks of being a pass holder is after four o'clock you get free Express Pass. So it's about 6.30, we have about three and a half hours between the two parks and we're just going to see how many things we can get on before the parks close. Yeah, and if you're not a pass holder with Express Pass, this is something that you can add to your tickets. So check out to see how much that we can ride tonight and see if it's worth it to you to add it onto your ticket when you come visit. Yeah, so let's go inside, see what we can get on. Yeah, we are starting off tonight at Universal Studios Florida because this park closes a little bit earlier than Islands of Adventure. We'll have about two and a half hours here and then we'll make our way over to Islands. So when you first enter under the arches of Universal Studios, they have the ticketing booths where you can buy your tickets or your annual passes. And this is also where you can buy Universal Express Pass, where you can skip all the regular lines, or you can opt for a VIP tour. That's pretty cool. But tonight, we're here to answer the question, is Express Pass worth it? So the first ride you come across when you enter the park is Despicable Me Minion Mayhem. It's currently posted at a 55 minute wait, but we're gonna hop in that express entrance and see how quick we can get on. And as we're in the queue for Minions, Still no official announcement yet on what and the you Shrek 4 d is going to be replaced with. Word on the street is Minions, but still no word from Universal yet. Can you guys talk like McDonald's? Oh, we were just trying to keep things interesting. Oh, just, just be still. We spent a lot of time in the lab doing dangerous science experiments. And sometimes we'll have to risk your lives facing down ferocious enemies. Well, that was not the best example. Moving on. So we just got off of the ride. It was about 25 minutes in total. And in the gift shop on the way out, they have the new Minions popcorn buckets. This one is $25. And then they also have this one, which I don't think is new. It may be, but I don't think it is. And this one's $38. But yeah, pretty cool popcorn buckets. So as we all know, Universal Monsters Cafe is no longer. Something else that, that is no longer is the Shrek and Donkey meet and greet. They've already started taking this down. They're meeting over in a different part of the park, but they've started full demolition over here on what used to be the Shrek and Donkey meet and greet. Not too bad. 25 minutes and we got to ride one ride already. Yeah, and we haven't been on that ride in years. Like, I kind of forgot what it was even like, so it was fun. Yeah, all right, so what's the next plan of attack? Do we want to go to Jimmy Fallon and do another, like, motion ride? Or do we want to ride Rip Ride Rocket, which is right over here as well? I don't mind either one. Rip Ride Rocket. Okay. So Rip Ride Rocket is currently posted at a 90 minute wait, so we should definitely be waiting a lot less than that. And the single rider line is closed, so we're going to put the camera in the locker and get on Rip Ride Rocket. Yeah. We didn't get to pick a song though. I guess we like got on quick and I didn't get to pick a song. Well, I picked a song on mine, but I, I couldn't hear anything the whole time. Oh, I It was just a, no music. I heard a song, but I don't know what song it was because <laughs> I didn't pick, so. But it was fun. That going straight up is 10 times worse than the drop. Okay, so that was attraction number two. We're gonna go for number three, which is gonna be Escape from New York, starring Jimmy Fallon. It's a 20 minute wait, and with Express Pass, we really should be able to walk right onto the ride, and then we'll make our way back maybe do Men in Black, maybe E.T., and then we'll probably get on the train to head over to Islands because this park closes in an hour. So we're gonna probably do at least two more things here before we hop over to Islands. So let's go ride Jimmy Fallon. So here we are, we made it inside Jimmy Fallon. And I have to tell you, back in the day, I used to work for NBC. And I used to work right by 30 Rockefeller Plaza in New York. And this queue looks exactly what the inside of the building looks like. It's it's uncanny. And every time I come on here, it always reminds me of that and that old job that I had because it really does look just like this with the gold doors and the black and gold floors. It's amazing. This is one of the best themed queues in all of Universal, I think, just because of how accurate it is to 30 Rock. And it's cool because they have some suits and props from the shows and the various Tonight Show hosts. They have Jay Leno. And then over here, of course, they have Johnny Carson. They have some Conan stuff too. It's really neat. Jimmy Fallon is a 3D attraction, so we're gonna pick up our racing goggles over here, and we're all set. I joined Jimmy and his guests, you, and featured the legendary Roots Crew.
just got off Jimmy Fallon. That was ride number three. We only waited about 20 minutes. Before we fi figure out what our next ride's gonna be, we're gonna take a look over here at The Mummy and see if it's close to opening. So here we are at the front entrance to Revenge of the Mummy. Still no update as to when this is gonna open, but this is the most that it's been exposed over the last few months. It still says opening late summer 2022, but they have this fence up over here, but the courtyard now is fully open. You can fully see the doors and the entrance sign, the express pass queue. Should be any day now. I mean, if I had a guess, I would imagine sometime within the next month, because we're already basically at the end of July and, and late summer would put us at late August. So hopefully we'll have an official word from Universal soon, but I can't wait to ride this one again. And right next door to the entrance is Sahara Traders, which is the gift shop for Revenge of the Mummy. We're not gonna go in here because we're trying to get on one more ride, but the gift shop is open. They took down the Universal Classic Monster stuff and it's all back to the mummy. So hopefully this is a sign that the attraction is gonna open somewhat soon. Okay, so we have about 25 minutes until the park closes. Let's see what we wanna do. Men in Black is 25 minutes. The Simpsons, I don't wanna do The Simpsons. Yeah. Harry right. Potter, Green Gods is 50. Transformers is 25, E.T.'s 40. Ooh. Okay, okay. And yeah. Being here at Universal Studios at nighttime, starting to see all the lights and feeling that nighttime atmosphere, Halloween Horror Nights is not that far away. We're down to weeks now instead of months. So before we know it, these streets are gonna be flooded with scare actors and Alex is gonna be here. <laughs> Probably crying in the corner. Yeah, I'm <laughs> very scared, but I'm gonna do it for you guys. <laughs> little by little, things are starting to go up. There's a bunch of these trusses with lights on it. So they're starting to get ready for Halloween Horror Nights. Not so much over here by King's Cross, because this is a place where there's zero Halloween Horror Nights activity. But back behind us by Fast and the Furious, there was a few things. And speaking of Halloween Horror Nights, we'll come back here in like the next few weeks once more and more things start popping up as far as decorations and lighting. I could see a couple of things, but we're here for the rides tonight. So we're gonna kind of skip over the Halloween Horror Nights updates. I will come back in the next week to maybe two weeks-ish once a little bit more pops up and maybe we'll have some more house announcements by then. But tonight's all about the ride, so let's go ride E.T. So as we're making our way over towards E.T., we can see the Simpsons area across in the distance over there with the Krusty Land sign. And something that I just thought of is that the rights to the Simpsons do expire in 2028, I believe. And Disney takes over those rights. So it's gonna be interesting to see in the next few years, does Disney let Universal keep the Simpsons IP in their parks? Do they use this as like a negotiation tactic for Marvel, maybe to get some of the Marvel things over here on the East Coast. It'll be interesting to see. I don't think Disney's really gonna do too much with it, but these rights do expire, and if Disney wanted to take it back from Universal, they can do it in 2028. Hey, forget Halloween Horror Nights. This is all the horror you need right here. Look at that crusty face. Hello, I'm Steven Spielberg, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to the E.T. adventure, but I'm afraid we don't have much time, so I'm going to cut right to the chase. E.T. needs your help. Now, we've just received an urgent message from E.T.'s teacher, Botanicus, calling for E.T. to come home right away. Uh, we've got some unauthorized people entering the base. Wait, they got E.T. They're getting away. Unit 3, cut them off. E.T. Go to Dick Lee. Hurry. Welcome home. So we did pretty good here. That was four attractions in like a little over two hours. Yeah. Not bad. So it's like 9.15 now. 
We are making our way over to Islands of Adventure, see what we can get on. We're probably honestly only gonna be able to get on like two, maybe three things while we're over there. Three if we're really lucky. But if we could end the night with at least a good six attractions in a matter of like three hours, that's really good. So just imagine what you could do if you were here for the entire day. We didn't get here till like 6.30. So we're gonna see what we can do over at Islands. Let's make our way over there. Okay, so we made it inside Islands of Adventure. Park number two for the night. Now, Velocicoaster and Hagrid's do not take Express Pass. There's no Express Pass. There is single rider line, but no Express Pass for those two rides. So I think we're gonna skip those for tonight, which is hard. You guys know I love Velocicoaster. But I think we're gonna try to do Spider-Man and maybe Forbidden Journey. We'll see, but Spider-Man's definitely gonna be first. So here we are, Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man. It's posted at a 30 minute wait. We're gonna utilize our Express Pass and see how quick we can get on. Did you see that? The spider signal! Was Spider-Man nearby? Trouble can't be far away. And you know what trouble means. Headlines, national coverage. So don't screw this up. Doc Ock on the loose, this could be the most dangerous night of my life and yours. Be careful. Nice shades. Hey, what's going on? What was that? Intruder! If you think you're getting out of here, <laughs> you're in for it. right on to Spider-Man. That was the quickest ride that we got on all day. Yeah, I mean, all the other rides we had to wait probably a good 25 minutes for. Yeah, we literally walked right on to Yeah, that. we didn't stop moving on Spider-Man. No. So our next attraction is gonna be Kong Skull Island. There's only a 10 minute standby wait. So that basically means it should be a complete walk on for Express. And maybe we'll get to do one more thing because we have like 25 minutes left. The spirit is strong here. Forbidden Journey. It's posted at a 15 minute wait. We're gonna use our express and this is gonna be ride number seven. One, two, three.
so that is gonna do it for our fun-filled and like jam-packed night here at Universal. Mm -hmm. We were here for about, what, three hours? Ish? Yeah. And we got on seven attractions seven. with our Express Pass. So the question of if it's worth it or not, I think we kind of answered that. And that was only in three hours. So imagine what you can do if you had the entire day. We got a lot done. Um, I can't believe we did seven rides in a lot. like three hours. That's crazy. And I can't believe how much we did at Islands because by the time we got to Islands, there was only about, what, 35 minutes until park closed? Yeah, we And we, we were did able to three. get on three different attractions. So. Mm -hmm well worth it just for that alone yeah it was a little bit longer over at studios we had to wait a little bit longer for each of the rides yeah. but we still got on four rides over there too mm -hmm. so overall a really fun and successful night and again i think it's worth it and it's a perk if you're an annual pass holder like we are or if you're staying on property at universal you get express pass included oh yeah. you really really can't beat that deal so we will be back very soon like i said earlier in the video just to kind of do some general updates talk about halloween horror nights a little bit but tonight was all about the rides and we hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us yeah so if you enjoyed the video make sure you give it a nice big thumbs up if you're new to the channel hit that red subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on all of our fun videos to come and with that being said, we'll see you guys real soon.